Hello everyone and welcome back to the little blue fly. So here I am once again with another video right before our move. We actually start in two days moving to our new home. We are so excited over here. But first I just had to share one more thing with you and this is our thrifted bed. So when I seen this I knew exactly that it was i just knew it was going to be perfect with my french country old world theme in our bedroom so i would like to share with all of you today all the different steps i took to create this new beauty for our bedroom so that being said let's begin shall we So I'm going to be using this chalk acrylic paint that is purchased from Michaels. So whenever I do projects with black paint, that is always my go-to. I will finish things up with a poly acrylic and I'm going to use the matte finish and 120 grit sandpaper to do my distressing. I'll be using two different size brushes, the smaller brush for the finer detail and the larger brush for the larger flat surfaces. We're going to start up here at the top of one of the posters. All this detailing is just going to work perfectly when it comes time to distress. I'm just going to do one single coat so it'll cut down me having to use so much arm power with the distressing process. Now I'm just going to show you different pieces here and there um, that I painted on the bed. I'm not going to show the complete process of the painting. So now I'm just working my way down. And all I can think is, I just want to get done with the painting because I want to start distressing. Now again, I am just using one single coat As I was working on the first one, it was so hot and humid. It actually took me about four days to finish this project. And I remember when I was working on the first one, I was like, I have three more to go still. But I was able to get through it. It was tough, but I got through it. So here is two of them that are finished. And I'm already seeing the transformation happening. She's gonna be really pretty, really, really pretty.
So I have all the outer edges on the headboard finished. And two of the posters. And now we're going to work on this highly detailed piece right here in the center. This is the highlight of the whole bed for me. When you're applying the paint, just make sure that you don't press down too heavily on your brush because you don't want the lines to be real visible. But again, some lines will show, but as you distress, it will take away those little fine lines. And then I did not show at the beginning, but I will also be using my antiquing wax as well. I was not planning at all to do this bed before the move because so much is going on, but I am glad I did. just about finished. The fun begins with the distressing on this piece. As much as I love to paint, it was the distressing part that I enjoyed the most. So the headboard is completely finished with the painting. And now we're going to work down here at the footboard. I was just thrilled that this was a much smaller surface area than the headboard. I started early in the mornings and I finished up in the evening, oh, around 7, 7.30. And I did this for four days. Long days, but rewarding days. Okay, so the bed is completely finished being painted. Yay! Step one, done. As Liz from Traditions by the Season says it, done. That's exactly how I felt. <laughs> So again, just one single coat, coat of paint. Now here comes the fun part, the distressing. Again, we're going to use the 120 grit. And you just basically go over all the lifted areas. The sandpaper is just going to catch right on them. Now this is, I'm going to go for a heavy distress on this piece because I really want it to look time-worn 
uh, very old world with the French country feel, of course. So by far, this will be the heaviest distress that I have shared so far. And I just keep going over. And again, the higher pieces, it just grabs on to that the uh, sanding paper. Now there's really no right or wrong in this process. Again, it's, it's just, it's to your liking. No two sides match. I just sort of go along and sand however much I feel like I need to in certain areas. Now I'm going to work down the sides. Now as you can see, I am doing a heavy distress on this piece. So the top portion is done. I am absolutely loving this so far. Now I'll share with you the footboard piece. Now, some people like to use hand sanders. I prefer to just do it with the, the elbow, the good old elbow grease. I like to fill it underneath my fingertips. I feel like I have more control when I'm holding the sandpaper myself. I'm just going around all the edges and it really came off nicely because I just put one coat of paint on. Now I'm going to use the glaze and I'm going to show you this little area right here. Because right now if the bed, if I just kept it like that, it has a really nice primitive look, but I'm not going for the primitive look on this piece. I'm gonna put the wax on because it'll really darken up the distressed areas, as you can see. Just gives it that nice time-worn feel, adding that brown on. I went through quite a bit of towels using the glaze. And now I'm going to show you the headboard. There we have the beautiful time-worn looking piece. I am in love, in love with my new bed. 
I wanted to make sure to distress the headboard. You know, in places when we're lying down or sitting back on our bed, those are the areas that tend to get worn off. And as you can see, they both, they're different on both sides. And I just went in circular motion when I sanded the headboard, just in circles. I just love that centerpiece right there. I'm gonna put the glaze in and let that brown wax get trapped up. As you can see the difference at that top, how much warmer it is versus the bottom part. The wax again was purchased from Michaels. As you can see, I started on the left-hand side of the headboard with the wax, and I'll continue over to the right. And I actually added a couple coats to the headboard itself of the wax. And there's all my towels. I went through so many towels. And the footboard. Here's another view. Now I will be sharing once we get to the new home how I'm going to decorate it with my new bedding. First we're going to add this polyacrylic. It's actually the last step. And I'll show you this piece up here at top it just really gives it immediately puts it into that french country feel for me Now we'll do this piece here. I made sure, I told myself, I will share with all of my subscribers and viewers this centerpiece. It just really is what makes this piece, this bed. And I did apply two coats of poly. Onto, well, onto the headboard piece. When working with the poly, always make sure to brush out any bubbles that are visible because it, if there is a bubble there, it will dry just like that. You will see the bubbles. is continuing with the poly. I'm 
You see what a difference it makes? It just really makes things stand out. A lot of people love to wax, and, and I do too on certain pieces. But I really enjoy the poly.